What's up, Cannabis Dispensary Owner Samuel Fisher, back again with my 10 Dispensary Marketing Hacks series, um, continuing on with the external and internal link building. And so in this video, I'm going to break down exactly how a professional digital agency would handle your external and internal link building strategy. And so uh, just some quick little background. Um, if you are a cannabis dispensary owner or professional, this video is for you. If you don't understand or backlinks, you need a little bit of help, oh, some new ideas, oh, this video is also for you. If you're not getting some rankings for your target keywords and you want to improve your sales, this video is for you. Kind of sound like a broken record, don't I? Jeez. Okay. But anyways, um, if you don't know me, uh, my name is Sam Fisher, the founder of Green Dispensary Marketing. I have a ton of experience in this niche. I'm ranking internationally for high volume terms. And so um, I'm actually going to break down this best THC carts one. A little bit later, I want to show you how I got that number one ranking, um, specifically how I got backlinks for that article to get that number one ranking. First things first, I want to talk about which backlinks matter the most. And so right when you dive into backlinks, one of the first things you might be thinking of is, oh my goodness, I'm just going to go to Upwork, I'm going to go to Fiverr, hire somebody to do it. Um, the big problem with that is that you don't always get the right backlinks um, and so there are some backlinks that you need to prioritize over other spammy ones and so you want to make sure that they're coming from relevant sites and so in the cannabis niche i can tell you with a high degree of confidence that news sites work and so if you are getting a backlink from a top media source in your area that is a great backlink um, you want to make sure that there's a high domain authority that it's not just some brand new website or that it's just some website made solely for the purpose of backlinking um, because you want the site to have some authority in your niche. Ideally, um, this is a way to ensure that the backlink uh, boosts your rankings and has the desired effect on your rankings. And then finally, uh, you want to make sure that the site is trusted by Google and readers. Um, a good way to check that is just to scan the site using a tool like Ahrefs and Moz. Um, get a look at the spam score. Uh, make sure that the site is spammy and that they have some organic ranks. And so if you are connecting all these dots together, um, you're going to start to be able to improve your backlinking strategy. And so the types of backlinks that you want to get in this niche include a very small list of backlinks. And so, um, so what I've seen work in this niche are Haro backlinks. If you don't know what that is, uh, Google Haro, help a reporter out, uh, get on the platform, sign up with your corporate email account and start responding to those reporter requests. RS feeds which are basically just websites that will post your blogs, syndicate them on another website, just a free backlink. Next, guest posting, reaching out to websites with high domain authorities and posting an article that backlink to your site. Uh, creating business profiles, uh, your citations, we talked about that in other videos. And then finally, you wanna make sure that you're not getting spammy outsourced links. Uh, if you're going to Fiverr and they're promising you 10,000 links, I guarantee you those are probably spammy. And so some quick tips for success before we break in to exactly what a good backlink profile looks like. You don't want spammy links, I'm just mentioning that. So if somebody's promising you 10,000 links for 15 bucks, you're gonna get what you pay for. Don't pay cheap. Uh, if you are gonna go down that road where you're gonna invest in somebody, a backlink professional, don't pay cheap, you're gonna get what you pay for. Uh, next up, you want to make sure the anchor text is right. You want to make sure that it's hitting the keyword that you want to rank for, a similar variant, or the site URL. Those are very standard ways to have your backlinks done. Next, you want to make sure that they get listed. Um, and so if you use a platform such as Ahrefs, Moz, or SEMrush, they will tell you when your backlinks are live. And then finally, um, a quick way to get some backlinks that are hidden in the cracks is to scan your competitors articles, the ones that are ranking above you, see what they're doing, see how they're getting their backlinks and reverse engineer that process and do it on your own. And so uh, that's backlinking. Um, internal linking, this is really quick, very easy structure for you. Um, and so if you are internal linking correctly on your page, say, okay, so I didn't know this is kind of blurry, but this is a very simple, simple, simple thing. Okay, so here's your homepage. Say you have a link on your homepage that is uh, best dispensaries in Denver, right? You want to have this best dispensaries in Denver page, this service area page, clickable from your homepage, okay? Vice versa, if you were going to subcategory uh, tips for finding the best dispensary in Denver, for example, that would be right here. You're gonna link back to this page, links back to this page. The whole idea with this internal linking strategy is that you have a connected web, 
where your top pages are clickable from your home page and then your supporting pages are clickable to those top pages. Okay. And so I wanted to actually break down a little bit more about what backlinking looks like. And so here's actually one of my articles. I'm currently ranked number one for many of these terms. Um, so here's THC cards. So this might actually be a term that many of you are interested in pursuing on your own. No. And so what you can do is if you're using a tool like Moz, you can go here, scan this article. It'll tell you exactly what's going on here. So as you can see right here, we have 187 ranking keywords, 50 of them in the top one, three. Which very proud of best, best vape cartridge brand, best, best vape cartridges, and so on. And so these are getting some traffic. This page is doing really well. Um, one thing I wanted to break down is how you can look, you can scan an article. And so say that this is an article that you want to be. Say you're mad that I'm beating you right now. Um, you can just go right straight to a platform such as Moz HRS, scan it. It'll tell you exactly where these backlinks are coming from. And so here they are, right here. And so myguitarstrike.com, big top coupons, uh, John English. And so uh, this agency they work with, this is a site that they do a lot on. Um, it's just at one of the consistent places that they get backlinks from. Um, and so they're using many of these same strategies that I was mentioning above. Um, some of them are outreach, some of them are RSS feeds. And you know, if one thing I'm finding interesting is this article is doing really well, but notice how these, how there's some links with some high spam scores. And so there's a lot of linking domains in total. And so if we're noticing that some of these are spams, that some of these have a high spam score, yet the article is still doing really well in these keywords, um, it just goes to show you the kind of results that you can get with minimal work and backlinks. However, I would like to caution you to avoid trying to do this on your own as a complete beginner. Um, it takes years and years and years to get good at this whole backlink strategy. And so if you decide that you want a little bit of help, I actually run a cannabis dispensary marketing agency that specializes in getting you high quality backlinks that will get you ranked for your local area. So I will happily prepare an action plan for you um, to show you how I can get you ranked in your area using backlinks, not only um, to your website, but also to your citations. Um, go ahead and click in the link below if you want to book time to talk with me. But that's in a nutshell, that's some free information that you can take and leverage on your own. Uh, thank you very much. Hope you have a great day.